Night Times is made possible in part by a grant from the Northwest Area Foundation. Live from the Twin Cities, this is Nighttime's Variety with Michelle Barber. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Nighttime's Variety once again. I'm very excited about this evening's show. We are going to be featuring two great vibraphone players, our own Marv Dahlgren, who is with the Minnesota Orchestra as a principal percussionist, and also Grammy Award winner Gary Burton. We are also going to be finding out more about the mysterious Earl from the guys at Earl's TV Tap. And right now I would like to introduce you to a very fine singer-songwriter who has just recently completed his own album here in the Twin Cities. He and I are going to do a tune for you right now that he has written. It's entitled Over Love. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Michael Monroe. I'd like to go out and paint the town Let our love dance us round and round I'm kind of tired, I'd like to stay home Maybe watch TV How about a quiet dinner, just you and me No thanks, I'm fine, I just had lunch at three But when we get together It's over love Cause I need you and you need me up in the car looking for a place to land But either we've seen all the movies or one of us doesn't like the band Just maybe we're in the wrong magnetic field We so seldom agree But feel that invisible pull Can you resist but not me but When we get together It's over love, cause I need you. to thank Carrie Miller on bass and Bill Barber Jr. on piano. Michael Monroe will be back with us a little later on this evening, but right now it's time for further adventures with the two guys from Earl's TV Tap, Chuck and Buddy. Nothing more than feelings, feelings that I'm feeling, are feelings that I feel. Hiya, buddy. Heard from Earl yet? Huh? I said, hiya, buddy. Heard from Earl yet? You talking to me? 
Well, that's a pretty safe bet, considering you're the only one here. Oh, well, then, uh, hi. Say, do I know you? Well, sure, I'm Chuck. We met here last week. I never met you. Yes, you have. Mm -mm. No, you're a strange-looking guy. I'd have remembered you. No. Don't you remember? I came in here, I asked for Earl, you threw confetti in my face. Why would I do a rude thing like that? Well, you thought I was Earl, I guess. Oh, I don't like him, huh? Well, sure you do. You were going to celebrate his anniversary, remember? Hmm. Yeah, and then you, then you charged me four bucks for a couple of empty beer bottles. Oh, huh, really? Yeah. Yeah, don't you remember? Then you told me that we were just a transition. Oh, transition. Yeah. You mean something to wake the audience up between the music? That's right. No, nah, it wasn't me. I was out of town working last week. Oh, you were? Mm hmm Where were you? Sydney. Sydney? Yep, Australia. I know where it is. Yeah, I had to change some acoustical tiles down at the opera house. I suppose you expect me to believe that. No, well, I was kind of hoping you would. Wrong. No, huh? No. Okay, mm -hmm. you got me. Yeah, we met last week. I was just kidding about Sydney. Right. <laughs> yeah, I won't lie to you anymore. Okay, fine. You forgive me? Sure. Good. Now, what about Earl? Earl who? Earl, uh... I don't know his last name. I never met the guy. And why are you so interested in him? Well, you said he was missing. Oh, and you believe me. <laughs> Boy, you're gullible. Uh, you, you want a beer or something? No, I don't want a beer. Look, if you're not going to tell me where Earl is, at least tell me what his last words were. That's easy. Rosebud. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> now, you said that last week, and I told you Citizen Kane said that. I know that. I saw the show. It was pretty darn good, too, wasn't it? Yeah, it was pretty slick for a live TV show. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I thought I looked a little chubby, though. Well, that's probably the lighting. Yeah, I wish they'd get their act together around here. Yeah, well, give them a break. It's public TV. Oh, you're telling me. <laughs> anyway, anyway, uh, what about Earl? Well, you forget about Earl? But you said he was missing. Well, he's probably skipped to Tijuana with the pledge money. So you're not, <laughs> you're not worried about him anymore? No. Why not? Because they said if he's not back by next week, I get to be owner of the TV tap. <laughs> it's pretty mercenary of you, don't you think? You bet. But uh, TV is a dog-eat-dog -dog world. Well, listen, when I become boss, uh, you want to work for me? Sure, what do you want me to do? You could be my lackey. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, thanks. Listen, I've got my, my own thriving business. I happen to uh, own a golf course. Oh, we own a golf course, do Yes, we, we do. Oh, we own nice. uh, Chuck's Country Club. Terrific. Mm -hmm. I work in a tacky TV bar, and you own a golf club. Yeah, well, my guy won the election. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, uh, Mr. Entrepreneur, mm -hmm. I know it's beneath you, but would you mind helping me take inventory? Huh? Uh, we'll start in the cellar. I don't have to get dirty, do I? Of course not, of course not. Just come on down. Well, I suppose uh, I could supervise. <laughs> hey, uh, Chuck, watch out for the oh! beam. Thanks. Yeah. It's awful dark down here. Yeah, yeah, it is. What is all this junk? Uh, this is all from Action Auction. Oh. Yeah. This is where we store all the stuff, you know, that uh, people bid on but don't pick up. Boy, this place is huge. Yeah, yeah, it goes on for miles. Hey, what are all these papers here? Uh, these, uh, th these are um, learn-to-do certificates, oh. you know, for lessons like, well, here's one, um, eating with your hands. Huh. Yeah. How about this one? Uh, how to rule your own Central American country. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was popular. Yeah. Huh. What's that horse doing down here? Oh, well, he goes with build your own riding stable. Really? Yeah. Hey, look at all those bats hanging on the ceiling. There's millions of them. No, no, those aren't bats. They're Presto Fry Babies. Really? Yeah. <laughs> the big ones are the Presto Fry Daddies. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, there she is. A luxury liner? Yeah, that's a Queen Mary. You know, she carries 4,000 people per crossing. Really? Yeah, there's six swimming pools, 12 decks, and most importantly, she's never been sunk. Yeah, the Queen Mary serves as a monument to Yankee ingenuity. Although not built here in the States, we can take pride in the fact that she was designed and built by our fellow human being. Well, looks like everything's here. Guess we uh, might as well go upstairs, huh? Yeah, I might as well. Boy, I am just perfectly mortified. It's the most embarrassing thing I've ever gone through. Yeah, likewise. <laughs> uh, terrific camera work, huh? Yeah. Didn't you give the director a copy of the script? Of course I did. He just can't read. <laughs> yeah, some tea work. Boy, this just isn't worth the headaches, you know? It's I'm telling you, you know, we're artists here. How can we ex be expected to create none you know, of this atmosphere? That's right. We're, we're artists stripped of our palettes, so exactly. to speak. Exactly. Exactly. I mean, they made us look like a couple of ham bones back uh, there. No cooperation. Well, okay, that's it. We're done. Yeah, you cut. guys said last week we went on too long, so we, we cut it. And I mean, we had a baffo quick ending down yeah. there. You wanted five minutes? You got it. That's right. I'm through. That's right. Let's just blow this pop stand. Yeah. You know, it's only 7.15. We can still watch, uh, you know, That's Incredible. Oh, that, that's a good show. <laughs> yeah.
Thanks, guys. We'll call you. <laughs> Marv Dahlgren is beginning his 30th year as principal percussionist with the Minnesota Orchestra. He also teaches percussion and composes whenever he can find a spare moment. He has written a beautiful composition, which he, is, which he is going to do tonight for us, along with his quartet. It's a tune that he wrote for his grandson, Christopher. I'm very pleased to present Marv Dahlgren and the Marv Dahlgren Quartet. Marv Dahlgren is not the only composer that we have with us this evening. Once again, I, I would like to make welcome my good friend Michael Monroe to do the title cut from his album, Summer Rain. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome once again Michael Monroe. <laughs> Scattered 
Tonight, I'm very proud to present a man who Downbeat Magazine has hailed as the world's greatest vibraphone player. He has done more for the vibraphone as a solo instrument more than any other player, and he has set pioneered techniques which are now standard in the trade. He has won two Grammy Awards, one for his album with Chick Corea, which is titled Duet, and also for his solo album, which is entitled Alone at Last. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very proud to present to you Gary Burton.
Beautiful. Thank you. I'd like to welcome you back to the Twin Cities area. It's yeah. been about a year since you've That's been right. back here. It's nice to be back. Well, it's nice to have you on our show here tonight, too, nice. and I thank you for that. Gary, you pioneered the use of the vibraphone as a solo instrument. How did this come to be when everybody else was usually playing with groups? Um, well, I grew up in a small town mm -hmm. and uh, played alone most of the time when I was learning to play. And the conventional way of playing the instrument had always been with, the, with just two mallets, mm -hmm. but it sounds very empty when you play that way because uh, you just have a single melody. <laughs> You can also play the instrument uh, as if it's a piano, because it is like a piano keyboard. So mm -hmm. by using four mallets, I can have harmony and counterpoint, mm -hmm. and it sounds complete that way. Did you happen to start off on a piano, or did you? Was this your no, first instrument? No, uh, I took up piano later on, mm -hmm. uh, and it helped my playing. Uh, but I actually started on marimba, which is a, in the same family as the mm -hmm. vibraphone, and, and this has always been my principal instrument. Mm -hmm. And what is the floor pedal for? Uh, I'm so ignorant. That's, uh, uh, that's just like the, the pedal on a piano. It's called the damper pedal, and lets me uh, mm -hmm. let, hold it down, the notes will ring. Mm -hmm. Hmm. That's fascinating. What are your future plans now? Um, this is this concert in Minneapolis is um, the last date of our tour through the Midwest, mm -hmm. and then we go home for a few days, and then we're going to Europe for a month. Mm -hmm. And I hear you also have a new baby boy. Yeah, this is true. Uh, he's, <laughs> Indeed, uh, he's six weeks old now. So, oh well, congratulations! Uh, thank I think you. That's terrific. Thanks. You're going to do one other piece for us. Yeah, um, this is a uh, standard a jazz uh -huh. standard uh, show song and. Uh, and it's written by uh, Oscar Levant, oh, the pianist and uh, movie actor mm -hmm. from some years ago. And it's called Blame It on My Youth. Well, it's all yours. Thank you so much. Sure.
Thank you, Gary. You can still catch Gary Burton tonight at 8 o'clock at the Children's Theater Company. It should be a very good concert. Next week, our guests are the Lamont Cranston Band, and it's going to be a very special half hour. It's going to be in simulcast with KQRS-FM. I'm Michelle Barber. I'm very happy to have had you have been here this evening. Thank you very much. Until next Monday night, good night. Night Times is made possible in part by a grant from the Northwest Area Foundation. Night Times is a production of Twin Cities Public Television, which is solely responsible for its content.